Welcome back, everyone. Well, here in Florida, let's face it, it's no secret that we have no shortage of sun exposure, which could be dangerous, sometimes even lead to melanoma. That is why the Richard David Kahn Foundation is encouraging students to spread sun safety and skin awareness. And joining us right now is president and founder of RDK Melanoma Foundation. This is Debbie Kahn Schwartzberg. And thank you so much, first of all, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, it's our pleasure. Tell us a little more about RDK. So the foundation was started about 27 years ago when my 45-year-old brother died of a late detected melanoma. Mm -hmm. And through a tragic experience and a horrible loss, we all decided that the best thing that we could do is to start educating about prevention and early detection. So for 27 years, we've worked in the school systems and with children in public education and around the community and throughout the state to raise awareness about why you need to protect your skin against the harmful rays of the sun and what you need to do for early detection. And, and Debbie, why is it so important that we reach these kids at such a young level? It is critical that children at the youngest of ages do not have sunburns because mm -hmm. it just takes one sunburn to change the chances of you getting skin cancer and increase the likelihood of getting melanoma, which is a deadly form of skin cancer. So. Parents of young little children who don't know about sun safety need to protect their children when they go to the beach, when they have them outside, when they have them in the pool, to wear sun safe clothing, mm -hmm. to cover with a hat, to put on sunblock, and to stay out of the sun during the really hot time of the day. If you're in the sun and you do wear sun safe clothing and you protect yourself, your skin will be safe and you can ward off the bad damage that the sun does cause. It seems pretty simple. To help these kids to understand that, I understand there is some type of contest that RDK has put together. So the Kinney Art Contest, which was named for John Kinney, the physician, a dermatologist who worked with the foundation from the time we first was, were founded as an organization. He was focused on the programs in the schools and worked diligently with us. And when he passed away, we renamed the art contest, the Kinney Art Contest, mm -hmm. and that project provides information to children in elementary, junior high, and high school in the form of bullet points, and then the children in their art classes or their English classes either are able to create a poster, do a, pe a poem, do a piece of artwork that provides all the summary of the information that they've been taught through the bullets, and then they submit it to the RDK Foundation site. And we have Mrs. Kinney, John Kinney's wife, and a number of people who are on the selection committee to provide the winners with financial rewards for them, their teachers, their principals, for the efforts they undertake to provide this artwork to our foundation. And then we publicize it on Melanoma Monday, mm -hmm. which is the first Monday of May when we announce who's won, and why education, and why the art contest. And this year is the first time we've gone statewide. Mm -hmm. We've done it in Palm Beach County for 25 years, and this year we spent a lot of resource to provide all the information throughout the state, and we still can have children submit up until April 29th if they want to be part of this art contest. It's so much fun for the kids to take part in this, plus they could win a possible prize and learn something. How can they find out more information about this? So if they go to information at melanomafoundation.com and or our website, melanomafoundation.com, they can get all the information they need to submit their art piece of mm -hmm. artwork and any other questions that they have, the school, the individual, the parent, about how to participate, how to be part of this process, how to spread the information into their school, into their school district, into their county. Mm -hmm. We want this over the next two weeks to get as many more kids into the process as possible. And if they would just go to the website, and they can also call the Melanoma Foundation as well, all the information is readily available. It's easy to do, and it's information that's easy to share, and children can learn a lot and have fun at the same time. Fantastic. You've inspired us. By the way, CBS 12 News will post this story and maybe a link to the website as well if you can't find it. But thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for All having right, us. All right, Debbie, have a great day. We'll thank be right you. back with much more news.